So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to replace the laser head drive belt on a Glowforge. So you'll need a three millimeter Allen wrench. You can see I've already got the crumb tray removed. It makes it a lot easier. And there's an eccentric roller holding the belt on. Here's a shot of it so you can see it. So let's go ahead and remove the laser head, get it out of the way. And you're gonna get that three millimeter Allen and there's a bolt in the middle of that roller. You don't want to force the belt off. You can break the roller. It's just plastic. So you go ahead and get in there. And you're going to turn it to the left to loosen it. And it'll slide inward, releasing the belt. So you go ahead and just take the belt off both sides on the roller. Grab the head assembly. Pull back towards you and then down. And it'll come right off. So here it is. Close up, you can see the little metal block that clamps that when you get the cable from glowforge it comes with that metal block it's not necessary that thing's completely reusable it uses the same three millimeter allen and you just loosen it up and the belt will come out of the clamp and there's a stop in the middle and then there's teeth to grip the belt And here you can see the belt's just loose and set next to it. It's easy to line it up that way too. When you new belt, go ahead and just go around the whole thing. Make sure that it's not twisted. And then you'll go start and put the new one in. What I like to do is you tighten up the clamp just where you can slide the belt in and it'll grip. So you got to make sure you have it lined up right. You just push it in until it hits that stop. You can kind of go and fill it. And then you tighten it up a little more and you keep going until... Everything is lined up, pressed in all the way, or all the way, just tighten it up. It's a fairly simple process. So you can see I'm just snugging it up a little more every time, making sure that everything's all the way in and aligned correctly. And once they're aligned all the way, go ahead and snug the clamp all the way down. And you're ready to reinstall it and run a test. It's a really simple process to do and it's a good keep a spare belt on hand because you never know when you'll need it.